Hi, today we're going to show you how to connect an iPhone to Microsoft Online Services. Here's what you'll need. An iPhone, of course, with 2.0 or 3.0 software, a trial or a paid subscription to Microsoft Online Services, your Microsoft Online Services username and password, and by the way, this can't be the temporary password you received in your original email. It must be the permanent password you created. And you'll need the mobile device URL for your region. Uh, to get that mobile device URL, navigate to the Microsoft Online Services Help and How To portal at this URL. And once there, search for URLs for Microsoft Online Services and then pick the URL for your region. After you connect your iPhone, you'll be able to access email, calendar, contacts, and SharePoint Online websites. Now let's show you how this works. First, let's turn on your iPhone. Perhaps obvious, but necessary. After it's on, tap Settings, and then tap Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. This brings us to the Accounts page. If you're already using an Exchange account, you must delete it before adding a new one. In this case, we don't have one, so we can just tap Add Account. Next, tap Microsoft Exchange, and then tap Email, and start entering your Exchange Online account information. In Email, you need to type in your email address. For purposes of this demo, it's just demo at bpausua.com. And after you enter that, go to Username, type Username, and enter the very same email address again. Demo at bpausua.com Now type password and enter your password. And remember what we said before, do not enter a temporary password. You must use the permanent password you've created from that temporary password. And after you've entered your password, you can type the description box. By default, it provides the email address you used, but you can overwrite that, which is what we're going to do. Let's use demo for this. So I'll backspace and then just type in demo. Now tap next. You're waiting for the server field to appear in, to appear in a few seconds. Watch it. It'll pop up by itself. Let's look for it and there it is. So now tap server and type the name of the server for your region. It's a long URL, but at least you don't have to type the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Just enter the URL itself. And remember, you can look up this information in the help portal. You saw the URL earlier. Go to the help portal and search for URLs for your region. Choose the correct one. Enter it here. And after you have it in, you can type, tap, pardon me, next. The phone begins verifying the connection to the Exchange Online server, and when it verifies, as it just did, it'll take you to this screen where you can choose the items you wish to synchronize. In this case, let's leave them all on. And after we're satisfied, we can click Done. And the phone begins configuring synchronization. When it returns to the mail, contacts, and calendar page, it's all configured and you are ready to use this iPhone to contact Microsoft Online Services. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching the demo. Please keep an eye on our blog, and in future weeks we'll be adding additional videos showing how to connect to more types of phones. Thank you.